In this training video, you'll learn the basic steps of how to tack a two-handed dinghy. Tacking allows you to turn the boat around by turning across the wind. This video concentrates on sailing towards the wind on the close-hauled point of sailing. If you want to sail towards the wind, you must be able to tack the boat. You'll be unable to point your boat directly into the wind as the sails won't work. The sails only start to work if you remain outside a zone which is 45 degrees either side of where the wind is blowing from. The area marked in grey is called the no-go zone and the point of sailing you need to establish is called close hauled. Here both sails are pulled in hard and they're not flapping and by probing with the tiller to find the point where the sail just starts to flap, you're on the edge of the no-go zone. Each tack takes the nose of the boat from one side of the no-go zone through the eye of the wind and out onto the edge of the no-go zone on the other side. Progressive tacks allow you to zigzag your way towards your destination upwind and together a series of tacks is called beating. It's a good idea to first practice on dry land to get a feel for the manoeuvre. Place some old tyres under the back of the boat to support your weight and climb in. No need to have the sail hoisted, tie a piece of rope around the mast to hold the boom up high and ask a friend to mimic the wind by pushing the boom backwards and forwards across the boat. The first step is to take a good look around and check the area is all clear. Assuming it is, you should next shout, ready about. Once you've received all clear from the crew, prepare to lead with your back foot to ensure you face forwards throughout the manoeuvre and release a bit of main sheet. This will slow you down and make it easier to duck under the boom. Next, you should shout Lee Ho and push the tiller gently towards the sail. Try to push the tiller from the very end of the tiller extension like this, as it'll make things easier later on. Ask your friend to push the boom across and then you duck under the boom and move across to the new side of the boat and sit down as far forward as you can with the tiller extension behind your back. Straighten the tiller. Next, you should swap hands. Taking the hand holding the main sheet back to the tiller extension, grab it with your thumb pointing towards the end of the extension like this. You should then release the tiller extension from behind your back and rotate it under your arm and grab the main sheet with your front hand. Resume the dagger grip once more and you're now ready to pull the sails in again. Having perfected your land drill technique, let's go afloat. Establish yourself on the close hauled point of sailing. Both sails should be pulled in tight and the front edge of the head sail is not flapping. By using the tiller gently, probe the edge of the no-go zone until you're happy you've found this point. The tiller extension is in the dagger grip in front of your body and the main sheet is in your front hand, like this. The whole manoeuvre will take you through about 90 degrees and you'll end up sailing towards a point that's somewhere behind your back. It's worth taking a quick look to identify a new target. This will help to stop you becoming disorientated when you're moving about in the boat. The helmsman should also look to check the immediate area is clear and if it is, then shouts, ready about. If it's not clear, then wait until it is. The crew then double checks the area and frees the jib sheet from any jam cleat and keeps hold of the rope and replies, all clear. Next, shout, Lee Ho. Prepare to step across the boat, leading with your back foot, release about one meter of main sheet to slow you down and make it easier to get under the boom, and gently push the tiller away from you towards the boom. The boat will immediately start to turn. As the boom moves across, the crew releases their sail and both of you duck under the boom and step across the boat. Don't worry if the sail flaps noisily here, this is normal. Sit down on the new side as far forward as you can and straighten the tiller from behind your back. Next, you should swap hands by taking the hand holding the main sheet to the tiller extension like this. And then let go of the tiller extension from behind your back and rotate it under your arm and position it back in front of your body. Grab the main sheet with your front hand, resuming the dagger grip once more. Pull both sails in tight once more and look for the point where the jib doesn't flap. Now you're on the end of the no-go zone once more. Let's look again, going the other way. 
Sailing along the close hauled point of sailing with both sails pulled in tight, probe the rudder to find the edge of the no-go zone. Look around to identify a new target point and check that the area is clear from any obstructions and shout, ready about. The crew double checks the area is clear, frees the jib sheet from the jam cleat but keeps hold of the rope and then replies, all clear. The helmsman then prepares to step across the boat, leading with his back foot and shouts, Lee ho! Releasing about one meter of main sheet, gently push the tiller towards the boom. As the boat turns, the crew releases their rope and both of you move across, back foot first. Once the boom has moved across and the boat has turned out of the no-go zone on the new side, sit down, straighten the tiller behind your back and then swap hands and resume the dagger grip once more like this. Pull in both sails and look to find the edge of the no-go zone once more until the front edge of the headsail doesn't flap. Let's take a bird's eye view. Look around, ready about, all clear, lee ho, push, step, duck, straighten, sit, swap, dagger grip, pull in. Common mistakes. If you plan to sail towards the wind, then you must start the manoeuvre from the close hauled point of sailing like this to allow you to sail towards the wind in a series of steps. If you're not, you'll not make any headway towards the wind, you'll simply go backwards and forwards along the same line. So ensure that you're sailing close hauled. If you push the tiller hard too quickly, there's a risk you'll turn the boat too quickly and you may not be able to get across the boat in time before you capsize. Failure to straighten the rudder after the manoeuvre will allow the boat to continue to turn and you could well end up doing a complete 360 degree turn. Forgetting to duck, well, it hurts. You may consider wearing a hard hat, similar to a canoeist helmet. This is particularly advisable for children. Straightening the rudder too soon when you're still in the no-go zone. This will stop the boat with no drive in the sail and you'll find yourself completely stuck in irons. Watch our first sail video to see how to deal with this situation. Key learning points. Tacking allows you to turn the boat around by turning across the wind. A series of tacks is called beating and allows you to sail towards the wind. The wind has a zone about 45 degrees either side of where it's blowing from that you can't sail. This is called the no-go zone. When sailing towards the wind, you should be sailing on a close hauled point of sailing with the sails pulled in hard and not flapping. Before tacking, you should be sailing as close as possible to the no-go zone. Small tiller movements, not large ones. Identify a new target destination before you start your tack to stop you getting disorientated. Check the area is clear from obstructions. Only tack if it is clear. Good communications between helm and crew is vital. Effective grip and hand swapping techniques with the tiller and control sheet is one of the key factors to successful tacking. Release a bit of main sheet before you tack to slow the boat down and make it easier to get under the boom. Lead with your back foot to ensure that you face forward throughout the manoeuvre. Duck under the boom to move onto the new side. Straighten the tiller and then swap hands and resume the dagger grip once more. Pull both sails back in tight. Find the close hauled point of sailing once more. Next steps. Watch this video as many times as necessary in order to understand how to tack. You can also use the script and glossary that accompany this video to help you. Then it's down to practicing. On dry land first to try out the steps and then out on the water. First time out, avoid winds greater than about 12 miles an hour so that you can get the maneuver at a manageable speed. Practice sailing as close to the no-go zone as you can until the front edge of the headsail doesn't flap and then start tacking. Keep tacking from one side of the no-go zone to the other until you feel comfortable with all the steps.